Hello, this is Logan McLeod, and I'll be showing you how to upload maps to the Source Filmmaker Workshop. First thing you want to do is launch the Source Filmmaker SDK in the Hammer Editor, and wait for it to load for about five years. The amount of loading time can depend on how many assets you've loaded into Source Filmmaker. Um, I have quite a lot, for no real reason actually. One eternity later, load up a new file. This is not a hammer editor tutorial. There are plenty of those online. I recommend three clicks, Philip. Um, these are all custom textures I've made. You might recognize some of them from my Green Hill map. Most of them actually didn't make it into the final product. I don't even know why I made blue checkers. Anyway, um, while this is not a hammer editor tutorial, there's just a couple things that, you know, uh, hammer editor tutorials don't go over for Source Filmmaker specifically, such as the fact that um, you need to have a starting position. Well, actually, most tutorials go over that. Um, you need to have one light, at least one light in the in the map. Otherwise, you can't compile for HDR. And Source Filmmaker um, only works with HDR. Otherwise, you get really bad lighting, and you don't want that. Um, well, especially if you know you're making custom maps for specifically for Source Filmmaker, you don't want to have, you know, really bad lighting, do you? Of course you don't. So have at least one light, um, and then compile for HDR. Make sure HDR is checked, and all the settings are set to normal when you compile. And the map is sealed. Um, any other hammer tutorial will be just fine beyond that. So um, load up Source Filmmaker. You can see my custom background thing, whatever. I, d I forgot how I did that. Um, if you compile the map and it loads up Source Filmmaker like this, you can actually check an option that makes sure it doesn't do that. Um, what you All you have to do is um, create a new session and it'll automatically load up the map. One thing you should know is that the first time you load up a map, it'll take, the lo take a long time. Um, every other time you, you load it after that, it won't take as long. Um, I think this is because it's doing some checks, optimizations, or kind of first time running stuff. But as you can see, the map is running just fine. There's no weird lighting effects. I mean, it's pretty dark because there's only one light that's like 200 brightness, which isn't very bright for HDR. But as you can see, it all works just fine. You can see the self shadowing bump maps that I put into this texture. Um, so, yeah, the map works just fine, and hopefully your maps will be a lot better. Now, what you want to do is go to File, Community, and, uh, um, yeah, Publish to Steam Workshop and Maps. From here, you select the map, which is in the top. You can select more than one map. Um, not sure why, because you kind of have to upload them separately. I mean, that's just from my experience. I think it has to do with file size. Just upload one map at a time. It's it's um, better organization anyway. Um, from here you can specify a preview image. Um, I'm not quite sure what the specs are. I just selected the um, picture I used for my Green Hill um, map, which was a 512 by 512 JPEG, which is the same thing I used for the Gary's Mod version. Call it whatever you want. Edit the description. Um, you can change its visibility and you can change what it's for. If it's not for anything listed, just choose original IP, even if it's for something, you know. It's just for the sake of organization, really. <laughs> you don't want this to, to be like the Left 4 Dead workshop where it's just like anything goes anywhere, it seems like. I look for campaigns and I see weapons. So you just hit upload and hopefully it'll appear in your workshop. There it is right there in mine. It's unlisted. Um, as you can see, I use the same preview image. You can subscribe to it. Check Source Filmmaker. There it is. It works just fine. Um, some additional notes. Um, Source Filmmaker automatically, um, if you have custom models and stuff in, in the map, it'll automatically put all that stuff into the map 
You don't have to do pack rat stuff. However, that's a lot. You have to do some pack rat stuff for some things, like physics models. The um, source filmmaker doesn't automatically pack the physics models, which I think is dot .phy um, in the model list. And if you're, this should only matter to you if you're making custom models. Um, you should know what those are anyway. Why a physics model is important is if you want to do like um, physics simulations, or if you have a certain, if you have a large amount of area that is, um, you know, like a floor, some place you'd want to walk on. This is important because without a physics model, if you if you use the shift function of putting another model on top of like the floor, it'll just pass right through it because there's it, according to the game engine, there's nothing there. Um, so you want to pack those. And um, I had problems with skyboxes as well, custom skyboxes, so you might have to pack those. So, um, physics models and um, skyboxes. Oh, oh, and uh, one thing I didn't go over was cube maps. For me, You can't build cube maps in Source Filmmaker just because of the way it's set up. It's weird. Um, what I'd recommend is getting Alien Swarm. It's perfect. It's free. It, it, it's... I, I, I don't actually enjoy the game myself, <laughs> but um, it it runs um, the correct version of the BSP. Um, Source Filmmaker uses a newer BSP format, which isn't compatible with TF2 and stuff like that, which is also why when you load TF2 maps or Gary's Mod maps, you'll sometimes get really weird cube maps, you know, those really like high glowing stuff. That's because the, ver the cube map version is um, the wrong version. Um, if you um, copy all your stuff from Source Filmmaker over to Alien Swarm and then build cube maps in there, um, it should work just fine. And then just copy the map back over. The cube maps will automatically be packed into the map so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and yeah, you'll get HDR cube maps that work just fine without little speckles or whatever. And those are fun. So I think that covers it. Bye.